Hi everyone, welcome to Chendu.org. A couple of days ago, Dennis, who is a long time reader of Chendu.org, uh, sent me an email. She works uh, in an environment where uh, she has to attend work in shifts. So a few days she would attend in day shift, few days in night shifts, few days in general shifts and things like that. So she asked me, Chendu, can you prepare a, a, an employee shift calendar template so that I can uh, track my shifts and understand which days I'm working in the day, which days I'm working in the night and things like that. I thought, wouldn't it be cool to build a simple Excel template that would do this for me. So I went ahead and built one this weekend and in this video I'm going to explain how the shift calendar template works. You can download the shift calendar template Excel workbook uh, from my website. The URL is just below this video if you are watching it on YouTube. Otherwise on my site you can just scroll down to see the download link. This is a fairly simple table, uh, simple template. If you click on this gray button here, you would go to uh, the shift data. Now the data is in a really minimalistic format. What we have here is a from date, to date and shift number. So you would enter the starting date and ending date of each shift and you will enter the number. Usually in large corporations or wherever this kind of shift environment is there, employees are given some notice, at least a couple of weeks notice. Uh, um, about their shift so you can gather this type of data or if you are the one who is running the shifts that is you are a human resource manager or somebody you could use this worksheet to enter the data for the shifts now they, uh, to keep this thing simple I have defined four types of shifts one is a day shift one is a night shift one is a general shift and the last one is a vacation that means you won't be attending work on that day okay so you have a from date to date and the shift number and this will go on um, in the oldest first order so you would start in this case we have started on 1st of jan 2011 and it goes on all the way up to 15th of july i have written a couple of formulas here to determine minimum date and maximum date this is purely for presentation purpose so uh, you don't have to really mess with these formulas Make sure that the shift numbers have to be one of these four as defined here and this is just for your information. So once you have inputted all the data, click on back to shift calendar. Uh, here again to keep this thing very simple, the assumption is made that this calendar works for year 2011. You could change this by changing this year number here in the cell C13 to 2012-13 or 2010 whatever you want. Now by default the calendar shows the shift schedule for the month of January 2011. So each date is highlighted in a color to indicate the type of shift it is. Day shifts are shown in bright orange color to indicate the sunny day time. And night shifts are shown in black color. And the general shift is shown in, in a dull shade. You know, this is like 9 to 5 probably. And a vacation is striked out meaning on that day the employee won't be working any dates outside the month so on jan the first happens to be saturday so all the dates prior to it are grayed out okay now you can just use this scroll bar to scroll through the months and see how the employee or how you are going to work in various months all of this comes from this data here so if you don't have data here there is no point scrolling through here but if you go like this you can see that in july you are working in night shift for the first week maybe four or five days and then you are, you are on vacation again the assumption is made that uh, you know weekends are not really taken care of here but you can uh, change the conditional formatting rules so that these two columns are always grayed out meaning it's a weekend you don't really work okay so that is a pretty simple template you can easily modify it or integrate it into anything else that you have built go ahead and download this file from chendu.org and have fun using it you can play with this or you know implement this as part of your um, employee scheduler or something like that if you want more templates you know where to go visit chendu.org and get a couple more downloads thank you so much for your time and attention this is chendu for chendu.org and i wish you a great week ahead Bye bye